okay so first let us look at the male reproductive system so we might be uh, seeing that a cow giving birth to a calf that means the mother gives birth to the calf but how the calf is formed is developed inside the mother's womb so for that development male reproductive system and male reproductive cells are important so that means the male reproductive cells fuse with the female reproductive cells the male gametes fuse with the female gametes in the body of the female so there the development of baby takes place and after the development birth of the baby takes place so now let us see that male reproductive cells how they are formed in the male reproductive system so here we have the human male reproductive system so the human male reproductive system is located in the lower abdomen so near the urinary bladder this is the urinary bladder now let us see the different parts of the male reproductive system so this is the penis this is a part of the uh, male reproductive system and the two main organs which produce the reproductive cells are the testis so testis there are two a pair of testis which are enclosed by a sac by thin membrane sac these two testis are enclosed the testis they have some special cells which produce the reproductive cells male gametes are produced in the testis so here we find the seminal ducts on both sides each testis is connected to a seminal duct so we uh, learned that the male gametes are called as sperm cells so the sperm cells are formed here and these sperm cells they pass through the seminal duct so here there are some other glands which had some kind of a new, uh, fluid jelly like material which will provide energy to the sperm cells to travel and here the sperms that are added with the other fluids becomes into semen and the semen it passes out through this male reproductive organ penis so the sperm cells mixed up with different fluids it is ejaculated through the penis so it will carry the male reproductive cells so the aim of this male reproductive cells is to reach the female reproductive cells and fertilize them millions of sperm cells are produced so in male the male gametes are produced uh, in million number very large number so uh, out of these large number only one male reproductive cell will fertilize the female reproductive cell so uh, this is the structure of the male reproductive system let us see the structure of the sperm cell so we discussed that millions of sperm cells are produced now let us see the structure of one sperm cell the sperm cell it has got three major parts one is the head the other is the middle piece the other, the next one is a tail so just this is looking like some tadpole kind of thing it has to travel it is only one cell but it has to travel in the female reproductive system to reach the female gamete so that is the reason it has got a tail for, uh, for the movement and it has got middle piece in which mitochondria are there to produce to generate the energy so by that it can uh, move and reach the female gamete and it has got a head so these are the different parts of the uh, male reproductive system and the sperm cell now female reproductive system we have seen how male reproductive cells are produced in male reproductive system and the different parts now let us see the female reproductive system this is the human female reproductive system present in the bodies of females so that is in the women's lower abdomen the location is lower abdomen below the navel below the navel spot this a female reproductive system is present in the abdomen let us see the different parts so this part this part of the female reproductive system is called as uterus and the female reproductive system has got two important organs which produce female reproductive cells so in male we have seen testis like that here we have ovaries a pair of ovaries are seen on both sides of the uterus left side and right side and here the ovaries are connected to the funnel shaped end of the tube these tubes are oviduct 
और फैलोपियन ट्यूब्स सो फैलोपियन ट्यूब्स हाउ मेनी आर देर टू आर देर ऑन बोथ साइड सो दिस इज द यूटेरस दीज आर द मेजर पार्ट एंड दिस इज द वेजाइना so these are the different parts of female reproductive system let us see the function of these parts ovaries they produce the female reproductive cells so we learned what is the female reproductive cell called as ovum ovaries they produce ovum in case of a male male reproductive cells are produced in millions that are the sperm cells are produced in millions whereas in case of female reproductive system ovaries they produce ovum that is only one ovum is produced by one ovary in alternate months that is in one month of time one ovum is produced that is if in one month if the left ovary produces the ovum so the second month the right ovary produces so either of that ovaries produce only one ovum for one month see here the female gametes are produced in limited number that is only one ovum per month but male gametes are produced in millions and there is no restriction that only this many number is produced in this much uh, this many days so any time they can be produced in millions in number male reproductive cells but female reproductive cells ovum are produced only one ovum per one month alternately one month uh, left ovary the other month right ovary in such a way in case of mammals like in humans the fertilization takes place in the body of female that means the fertilization takes place in the female reproductive system so this is the place where the baby grows we call this as uterus so uterus is the womb where the baby the embryo develops into complete baby uh, and it will be uh, taking birth so now uh, let us see how the reproductive cells are produced so whatever the reproductive cells are produced by these ovaries these ovum are transferred to this oviduct and from the oviduct from the fallopian tubule they reach the uterus so the fusion the fertilization of male and female gametes takes place in the fallopian tubules so what does this says that the female cells are pro produced in the female body and they are fertilized in the female reproductive system so the female gametes production takes place in the female reproductive system and fertilization also takes place in the female reproductive system that means the male cells should reach the female system for fertilization so the fertilization takes place in the body of female when the fertilization takes place inside the body we call it as internal fertilization so this kind of internal fertilization is seen in insects lizards snakes and even in mammals means the fertilization takes place in the body of female so these organisms these animals they have some special arrangements by which the male gametes enter the female's body by the process of mating the male cells enter the female body female reproductive system through the part called as vagina so these male cells we have seen the structure of the male cells sperm cell head middle piece and tail so because of that the structural features it passes it travels in this female reproductive system and they reach the fallopian tubule so if the fallopian tubule is readily having an ovum which is released by the ovary so these male cells fuse with the female cell the male cell is a single cell it has one nucleus and the female cell female gamete it is also having one nucleus that is also single cell now here the fusion takes place fertilization it forms a zygote now the resultant cell will it have two nuclei one from male one from female no both the nuclei will merge together and form a single nucleus it forms a single nucleus both the nucleus will join so this is called as a zygote formation of zygote takes place in the fallopian tubule that means the fertilization takes place in the fallopian tubule of female reproductive system the fertilization which takes place inside the female body it is called as internal fertilization